How do we stay monetized, especially if we're a gamer in the level up program trying to earn stars or if we're a creator who's got ad breaks approved to earn money on our videos? Inside, I'll explain to you right now the best of what I've learned about how to stay monetized based on my experience doing hundreds of hours of live streaming thousands of videos on Facebook and what is written. I highly recommend read the things I'm about to show you really actually read them. What I will learn is also based on watching people who've been demonetized, asking them questions about what happened right before you were demonetized. Ready? Let's take a look at this. What we've got in Facebook, we've got several different documents we need to read. So first, if you're in the Level Up Gaming program, on your gaming dashboard, there's a stars term link at the bottom that you can get to. This goes into your star streamer terms, which provides these two links, which are very helpful and critical to read to know what to avoid. This has a list bigger than what I'm going to mention of things you're not allowed to do. You also are not allowed to talk about how much money you've earned on stars or about these terms generally. So read these stars streamer terms in detail, especially these documents in number six. Let's go through and look at this document here. This is the community standards document. This is a lot, and I've read each of these many times, and it's up to me to make sure I stay on top of any changes because sometimes there can be things added. First, some of these are pretty common sense. Violence, you understandably don't want a lot of violence on your stream. However, if you want to advertise, even playing mature games, can get ads rejected. Therefore, if you want the broadest audience, sometimes using games that are not rated M may be better. There's even things like threatening someone else can come into this and you can lose monetization over even threatening in a way you might think is minor. Don't threaten people, bully people, be mean to people online. I know that can be hard for some of us, in playing video games especially, it's important. On safety, if you even put the word suicide in your post, you are likely to get less reach on it. Therefore, even in talking about things like this, even if you're trying to help, you need to be careful with the wording. Some of these are pretty straightforward. You don't want to have sex or bullying in your live stream, but even harassment if you are screaming at someone in a game, you mother effer, I hate you, all this stuff, that could get your stream reported and you could lose monetization over especially repeated harassment if you're harassing someone in game or if you're harassing someone a lot on your stream. Privacy violations, you are obviously not allowed to put up things about other people online. You're not allowed to put up other people's identification Probably not a good idea to put your own up either. Naturally, you're not allowed to hate speech, but this is a little more, this is broad. This means that you should not be screaming any obscenities based on things like you. You should not be screaming any of that stuff in your stream either. These are things that can get your stream reported. You can lose your monetization on that. Even you're in, you can't be misrepresenting yourself, pretty straightforward or false news, memorialization. There you can see this a big document. We want to read through all of these because some of these you might not expect. You might not realize that there's certain slur words you can use that fall under here that can almost instantly lose your monetization. So keep these things in mind. Now, this is in the community standards. You have an additional document for monetization here, content guidelines for monetizations. These are additional things in addition and above the community standards you're not allowed to do. You're not allowed to do static videos or image polls or engagement bait. Now, just because you see someone else getting away with it also doesn't mean that you should try and get away with it as well. You Engagement bait means that you even ask people for likes, comments, or shares directly in the post or set the post up in a way that is designed to artificially get more likes. For example, a picture saying like this if you're a guy or whatever. 
you avoid doing anything like that in the post. Now, in your live video itself, you can ask for people to like the post or comment or share, but do not ask for it directly in the post. You also are not allowed slideshows of images, looping videos, text montages, manufactured sharing, or limited originality of content, meaning if it's not yours especially, or if it's just something you copied from somewhere else. There are also these restricted categories, and uh, the ones I'd like to point out, especially you've got objectionable activities, substance use. This even includes vaping. Do not vape on your stream. Smoke, do not drink alcohol on your stream. Vandalism, I mean, theoretically, you could even smash something in your own room. Again, the... There's a lot of leeway on this. Many of these are things that are reviewed by a human. So if someone reports your stream, it's up to whoever is watching or reading that report to make the decision. However, there are some things that are very easy, a strong language. These can be done completely with automation. Every single streamer I've seen who was complaining about having their stars removed had strong language every single one and often it was not even people that themselves as much as the people they were playing with i watched two different streamers there were a ton of uh, f words just maybe 50 or 100 f words in a relatively short amount of time i watched very easy to see that can be done with an automated report someone literally reports it facebook takes an automatic transcript of that live stream and can easily see the amount of F words is a lot in that stream. I encourage no cussing at all. That's how I do my streams, no cussing. And it's not that you can't have one little word slip out here and there generally, as long as it's not under the hate speech, you easily could have a word or two that comes out, especially if it's the in-game characters. You are not like you have to be absolutely perfect, but if you're repeatedly and the people in your party are repeatedly dropping F-bombs and all kinds of derogatory words, slurs, sexual words, innuendos, crude gestures, vulgar motions, if that is going on repeatedly a bunch in the stream, then very good chance of demonetization on your stream. Also, this is a good reason why I do not allow anyone else on my party chat to actually be in my stream audio. It's only me. That way, if anyone else hops in the party and starts blah, blah, blahing, it's not going to affect my stream. This also, you have explicit content. So if you've got some nasty rash or a huge cut on your arm or something, I would not show that on the stream either. This can be one of those tricky things. Now, one thing I did not hit on that is very important in this is the uh, use of intellectual property. You uh, can get your stream taken down almost immediately for any copyrighted music especially. Therefore, it's important to turn off the music in every single game you play. Yes, I understand. If you're playing a game like Fallout, that's a whole lot about the music and you want to have listen to the music, sorry. It's if you want to stream on Facebook, the way to copyright set up, absolutely no copyrighted music. The best way to do that is just to turn the in-game music off. You never know for sure which music in-game is copyrighted and which isn't. I always turn all the music off. Then I also have a kill switch, a button I can click to instantly turn off the game audio or my own microphone in case for some reason music starts playing because you're not likely to have a problem if music just the first second or a couple of seconds of a song comes on. You're not instantly going to lose your stream. I was playing Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout and someone hit a jukebox in the middle of the game for some kind of Easter egg even though I had the music turned off in my game and Avenge Sevenfold song just starts coming on. I'm like, are you kidding me? And I just immediately hit the game sound to kill the game sound right there and then no issue. A, a couple of seconds or so of the song played real quick. I just immediately hit the kill switch, turn the game audio off until the song stops playing. 
What you do not want to do is play an entire song or any significant length of a song, I'd say more than six plus seconds straight in a row because this is done algorithmically. Meaning if your audio matches a copyrighted audio file that Facebook has, then that's an easy automatic takedown of your stream. Make sure do not use copyrighted music anywhere in your stream and turn off all the in-game music because a lot of in-game music is copyrighted. Therefore, I am grateful that my stream, all these different things that you need to pay attention to, I'm grateful after hundreds of streams, my stream is still up and running. Understandably, some of these things I've seen streamers just hop on and jump into and didn't read through the manual. So if, if you've gotten anything out of this, please do read the manual. You, you need to read all this stuff on Facebook. Facebook has the largest set of terms I've seen for streaming anywhere, YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, Hitbox, Azure, or wherever that is. Read all these different terms for Facebook and understand that Facebook with a huge global audience has a good reason for all these terms with the ability to send these videos out to almost every country in the world during a live stream. Facebook understandably has a lot of conditions on what is allowed and what is not allowed. I know it can be very painful to get demonetized as I've been an entrepreneur online seven years, I've had lots of things go wrong. I hope this is useful for you to see what to avoid doing before it happens. And as far as I can see, if you stop doing these things, you can get monetized again in the future if you've been demonetized. Thank you very much for watching this. And there is an appeal form on one of the pages. However, better to do prevention than the appeal form much better to do prevention than the appeal form. Thank you for watching this. I love you. Awesome. I hope this is helpful on how to stay monetized on Facebook gaming.